you back to that cell phone video. Really incredible here. Now, the man who recorded it says he had just passed by through the park. He was on his way home from a run on the mall. He saw the driver try to ram through once. He said, then back up and try again. And he said, after they rammed it the second time, I decided it was time to get the hell out of there. Now, the Hay Adams Hotel overlooks Lafayette Park. Staff and guests were evacuated. We also had reports that the St. Regis was briefly on lockdown. This is always a concern about the potential for explosives. When you would have a truck crashing near the White House. U.S. Park Police, the FBI, and Secret Service are working together on this. Tactical units sent in robotics to open up the back and inspect. Now, let's take a closer look at some of the items found inside. A Nazi flag was from the back of the truck, along with a backpack. The contents spread out on the sidewalk included a cell phone a charger, a roll of duct tape, and a notebook. The notebook, take a closer look here. As they're photographing it for evidence, it appears to have pages filled with writing. And we saw investigators taking a very close look at that. So uh, again, no injuries to Secret Service, Park personnel, White House personnel. The investigation here continues, but again, just very serious charges here. It looks like this was intentional. That was according to Secret Service early this morning. And then we got those charges coming in with someone, perhaps, with the intent to try to inflict some harm on the vice president or a family member.